All right, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the gym leader slash Unova team. Now, this obviously isn't the best build that you can do for the Unova team. We're just trying out different things, um, and it definitely is very, very expensive with the skill spheres when it comes to leveling up every single character. Um, so this is the recent team that I did level up all the way to level four for the theme skills. Um, and honestly, running different themes uh, is a lot of fun, and I cannot wait until the villain team comes, the Team Rocket team, uh, the team galactic team like we're definitely going to be getting a whole bunch of themes in the future for sure so this is something that i'm very very excited for um like imagine running a team galactic team and then you have palkia uh, palkia dialga um and then garantina and stuff like that and you just have the sino team and the villain like it's just going to be so fun um having these in the game is, or getting theme skills in the game is is definitely something that we actually needed um it, like it just makes team building a lot of fun now now like i said before the buff isn't big so don't expect like a huge damage buff or uh hp buff or whatever like yeah the the, the numbers do stack up um so it will add up of course but uh, it's not a huge buff to where like it's gonna be game breaking it's just a little bit extra that uh, that we have uh so like if you want to run a unova team then at least you have um a little bit of a buff there if you want to run characters with the same tag um, but it's better than nothing, of course, um, and the little animation that you get at the beginning of the battle, uh, with the, when you have themes active, it, it's cool. I do really, really like that. Um, but anyways, if we take a look at the Unova team right here, uh, we are getting all of the buffs here besides the type skill, of course. Uh, but Skyla, she is going to be giving plus 13 HP for gym leaders and Unova. Berg is going to be giving plus 8 to physical and special attack from Unova and gym leaders. And uh, Sharon is also going to be given the same thing as Skyla, so plus 13 on HP with Gym Leaders and Unova. Uh, now, don't mind the gears. <laughs> I don't have the proper gears farmed up. I only have, like, fire um, and uh, grass farmed up and, uh, and ground. But uh, besides that, I need to work on the gears. I have enough coins and, uh, and all, but i just been lazy on like, leveling up other gears. But right now, as you can see, all the theme skills are active. And I do like the little, like, glowing effect around that as well. It is cool. I do really, really like what they did with theme skills. Now, I wish that they added more of a buff. For the theme skills now i could imagine in the future they're probably gonna update it to like where maybe it's gonna give a little bit more um but personally i would have liked it if it was higher the buff either that or give us a percentage base and i did see in the comments from someone where they're talking about like they could have given us like a plus five percent uh crit chance or something like that um even defense would have been nice uh like special defense physical defense to help with the strikers too um so then like the support could give like maybe five percent defense and uh five percent special defense as well that would have been cool getting a buff like that would have been so much better but uh, anyways let's go into the battle and see the unova team in action now like i said this isn't the optimal team build for unova uh but like i'm just working with uh whatever characters i felt like leveling up um and gym leaders and unova that's gonna be a fun tag to run for sure and the animation like look at that i love it i love that little animation that they gave us uh, now we are in the egg event the new egg event that did come out um so that's gonna be uh where levani is gonna be shining because of course executor is weak to levani um oh i forgot to change the uh um oh okay that's gonna be kind of annoying levani <laughs> is gonna be taking a lot of hits oh that's gonna suck all right anyway let's try to take them out as fast as possible then um like but like i said before it's not going to be a big buff on uh, the offensive and hp side uh but it's just something extra there that we could do to make team building a little bit more fun um so they're not doing too much damage to us which is good i guess um like once we get out uh the the, the middle pokemon then we should be fine and we do have swana here too that can give us uh potions so like we're fine i don't want to exit out again like i <laughs> Recently, I've been messing up a lot on uh, on my battling videos uh, when it comes to making new teams because I keep forgetting to change the tactics, but it's okay. The egg event isn't really hard, so... Oh, damn! Okay. Uh, Alright, cool. I <laughs> uh, was not expecting that, so let's try to take out Executor as fast as possible. Thank you. There we go. So, like, Levani, she actually is a great, a good Pokemon, a good bug type, for sure. Like, she definitely can hit hard. And then with theme skills, buffing her up when you're on the Unova team or gym leader team. Like, it's, it's cool. I do really, really like this. And Levani is actually a really good uh, same pair to use in this game. Uh, like, she, even though I already said that. 
Um, but like overall, Levani and Berg, like they're a really good option to use as a bug type in the game. So that's nice to see. Um, so let's actually do this again. Uh, but let's have Swana take all the damage, just so we don't have to worry about Levani actually dying on us. Um, okay, so edit, and then we're gonna go to tactics, and uh, let's take Levani out and put Levani on the third target. All right, perfect. There we go. Like one of my favorite things though with the uh, theme skills is the it, like the animation at the beginning of the battle. I just love that, and it's given me more of an incentive to actually battle instead of use skip tickets now. Cause I just love seeing that, like the trainers and uh, um, like the animation at the beginning, like the little um, intro with when they talk and all. Like that's cool. I really really like that a lot. Um, and I'm like, I'm, honestly, if they didn't add this in i wouldn't have thought about stuff like this but now that it's in i don't want them to take it out uh they're, they're obviously not going to take it out but i'm just saying like now that we know that it's here the animation is just so good i love that like the little things make a big difference of course um but uh uh this is going to incentivize more summoning too actually because in the future theme skills are 100 percent going to make a difference in the game uh, like right now, they're just testing the water, seeing what works, what doesn't work. And then, of course, like in the future, they could even give it a percentage-based uh, buff instead of having um, uh, just a flat number boost. Because percentage-based boost is always going to be a bigger boost than uh, flat number boost, of course. And it's like that with every game you play. Um, like, for example, take a look at Dokkan Battle. Uh, like, you see the big, big damage boost uh, that you get from percentage-based attacks than... Um, uh, then, like, flat number boost. Like, like for example, let's say uh, you give a character uh, 5,000 uh, flat number for the, uh, for the offensive attack, and then take that 5,000 damage, uh, and then add, or not 5,000, but then give it, like, uh, um, a 20% buff. That 20% is going to make a bigger difference than a 5,000% uh, uh, 5, buff, or a 5,000 uh, flat number buff. Um, so in the future, we can definitely see them add a little bit more to these theme skills. So like what we see right now, instead of like eight plus eight on uh, these, uh, on like for the strikers, uh, we could see them do something like uh, giving them like 5% because still 5% is going to be a much bigger number than uh, just eight in total uh, because it's going to be, it's going to be going based off of our actual attack. So like, let's say um, we're going with uh, Charizard and he has over uh, 500 to make it more easier uh, or more simpler. Uh, let's just say Charizard have flat uh, 500 special attack. We put that 5% in. It's going to be giving us a bigger number than 8 because uh, it's going to be taking 8% of that 500 uh, special attack that Charizard has than uh, giving it a flat number boost. Like that's why percentage base is always going to be much higher. I don't know if I explained that properly or well to where you guys could actually understand that. But like for those that play games. Or a lot of gacha games or just game, a lot of games in general that has number based attacks um you'll know that percentage base is going to be much higher than a flat number base uh but uh like i really really hope that they do add in a percentage based uh boost in theme skills because that's going to make a difference for sure um because right now like you can do theme skills of course and run certain teams with tags and all but it's not going to make a difference to where like um you actually need to do that um, but maybe in the future they will. I hope they will. Um, cause then maybe they can even give something like, um, like I said, 5% defense or a 5% uh, special attack and stuff like that. Like that would be much better. And it would actually incentivize you to make proper teams with uh, certain characters and having them together. Um, but like right now you're, you're still just better off going with, uh, a mono team. So, like, if you want to run a full fire type team, you can. That's going to give you a better boost than uh, than theme skills. Um, the only thing I would, like, say to, uh, like, why I would run theme skills is the little animation at the beginning of the battle. And, uh, like, just running, uh, like, a Unova team, a Sinnoh team, and stuff like that. Like, that's cool. I like that concept a lot. But the buff that you get isn't, like, substantial to where, like, you actually need to do it. Uh, that's my only little problem with theme skills. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> it's fun regardless. Um, but it definitely will get very, very expensive for sure. Um, cause like if we look at the theme skills right here, it's going to be getting added with, uh, the, the type skills. So like we got type skills, uh, let's go to someone I don't have. Okay, here. So we got type skills that we need to level up and then we got, uh, the Unova and then we got also got elite four. 
so you can see that it will get expensive for sure um and uh, that's gonna be another thing we really need to grind which does suck um because then with the level 130 uh cap coming to the game as well we're gonna need to um grind up those as well and all that cost stamina it, 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 it's, there's a lot that we need to do um, and if theme skills is on your priority list then of course do that um, you don't need to get to level 130 of course but from level 120 to 130 that is a, um, a, a good number increase to uh, to our sync pairs so like honestly I would like you don't need to do theme skills that's not a big priority it's just an added bonus work on getting to level 130 when that comes out and work on um the type skills over the theme skills do the type skills last that's not on the priority list just because the boost isn't that big um but uh, that's what i that's what i have to say about that like don't prioritize the theme skills work on type skills first and then after you get the type skills uh, fully active then uh or fully upgraded on all the cards that you want to use then work on theme skills uh but uh yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, the Unova team is definitely a lot of fun to use. I love running them. Uh, once N comes to the game, oh, it's going to be over. It's going to be so much fun because then I'm going to put Elisa on here. So you're going to see Elisa and then N is going to be on the team. And then I'm going to have um, uh, Skyla with N as well because Skyla is going to be, bo be boosting N's speed because we know N is not a very fast <laughs> sync pair. And we saw that from the stats uh, in the data mine. So, yeah, that's going to suck on how slow he is, but... Uh, whatever <laughs> we got skyla to help with that but uh, anyways that's gonna be it for the video hope you guys enjoy and uh, let me know which team is your favorite to run right now personally i really really like the kanto team that's my favorite team to run right now um this one right here this is so much fun <laughs> i love it but uh, like i said let me know what your team is which team you like to use a lot like the unova or you like to use um still the type skills or if you like using the theme skills let me know which team is your favorite anyways but that'll be it for the video. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys later.